I go first? No. <laughs> no, I'll go first then. Hi, I'm Ryan and I'm the head of platform at Birdie. Hi, I'm Henny, I'm a product designer at Birdie. For us in design particularly, um, we have like three kind of major design principles and two of them actually are in a juxtaposition, which makes this quite um, interesting. So one of them is that we try and give seconds back. So we make sure that when a carer is in the house with a client, they're not constantly on their phone looking down yeah. and ignoring. And, you know, we want to keep that like personal aspect there and we don't want to allow our technology to distract from what they really need to do. But at the same time, in giving those seconds back, we have another kind of design principle that is um, do no harm. And I think we often find ourselves making small design decisions that mean that we have to balance those two really carefully because you can allow someone to do something very quickly on our platform, um, but that may you know, they may need to spend more time looking at it. Yeah. They may need to read a warning or see something in order to make sure that they don't do any harm with what they're doing. So we're always trying to balance the two and make sure that when we do introduce friction in, in the product, um, so it's the right, the right yeah, yeah, for the right reasons and the right level of friction um, so that we're not just blocking everything that could happen and we're continuing to let them do things quickly and efficiently, but also keep everything safe and make sure mistakes you know, don't happen so that they feel safer using it as well. Yeah, yeah definitely that, that balance or that trade-off is, is a hard place to be, especially when you've got so many competing principles or, or priorities. Uh, I think for, for security and safety, like the, when we're looking at it from an engineering point of view, it's one of those things that we, we never really kind of balance out. We, we always keep security and safety in mind when we're developing everything. I see. Even if it means that you know, a feature takes a little bit longer to kind of come out through the door for, for people who want to use it, we know that when it gets there, that it's going to be secure and it's going to be safe. Obviously, we try and kind of bake accessibility decisions in as early as we can, and we're constantly thinking about that. Um, so that kind of helps with the safety aspect of everyone being able to use the product, I guess. Um, and then we also make sure that we have loads of stages. Um, so we do usability testing and all the kind of the things that you'd expect um, with a kind of solid design process to make sure that what we're building is actually going to be useful yeah. for people and, and not, yeah, is not going to block them. Sit there and we can kind of look at a problem and go, okay, well, this is, this is how we can solve it. And these are kind of some of the boundaries that we need to solve that problem. Yeah. But unless we're talking to the people who are using the application, and, and also looking at how they're using the application as well. Like we've, we're always going to be a step behind. And I think having that that usability testing um, is is really important. Yeah, definitely.